I wanted to just make a quick, simple video um, about the how versus the why when it comes to Neville Goddard and all of the other um, teachers that teach the technique of how to create the things you want. Now, the how is very simple. Um, all the teachers are basically saying the same thing. You basically figure out what you want. <clears throat> you create an image of that in your mind or a scene or a feeling uh, and you replay this over and over again until the scene feels so real to you that you've basically adopted the mentality of that scene through forces unknown to us and through our own behavior we will then act in the 3d world to bring that thing about that's the how it's really really simple and you do it all the time. I always tell people, think about what you want for dinner. Then go get that for dinner. You have just experienced creation. That's the basic gist of how this works. Yes, the bigger and more complicated and more seemingly out of reach the thing you want is, you know, the more complicated the process is to bring it to you. But it's basically think in your head about what you want for dinner you're gonna run through a bunch of different foods imagine eating them all <clears throat> one of them's gonna go yes this checks all my boxes this is what I want and need to eat for dinner tonight and then you're gonna go make that happen most of the time um, that's how it works here's the problem people don't seem to understand the why when it comes to creating things you want when it comes to things you want you have a motivation for why you want that thing. And the motivation at its core, most basic level is you want it because you think it's going to make you happy. You think it's going to fulfill you. That is why we do everything in life. We want peace, security, freedom, love we want these core concepts and so when you first start out in life and in manifesting you're still chasing after the things because you haven't gotten to the point yet where you realize why you want the things or the relationship you want them because you think they're going to make you happy here's the secret behind all of it none of it is going to make you happy. You are going to make you happy. A general feeling of connectedness is going to make you feel peaceful and happy. A sense of self-worth and of belonging and contributing is going to give you that sense of self-worth, that sense of love and happiness and peace and bliss that's where those feelings truly come from so when you start out with learning how to manifest things you know it's a good skill to get but eventually when you create enough things and you're still not happy you're going to come back to the concepts of creating self-worth creating happiness eventually you're gonna get there if you're lucky maybe you'll just chase things your whole life hopefully not because you're watching this video right now this is why people post on the subreddits about fixing yourself eventually when you have fixed your core issues in life, when you have fixed your orientation to the world, this is why, this is why all the big ones talk about gratitude um, and, and shifting into this different mental state. Uh, it's hilarious. On some of these subreddits, people who are supposedly experts at this scoff at the rest of the people posting about gratitude and self-love and all that. It's like, way to miss the point. Uh, if you're a miserable fuck, you're not going to enjoy any of the things you're creating. You're just going to create a subreddit and make fun of everybody.
It's like you're missing the point is showing. <clears throat> without a sense of wholeness, without a sense of gratitude, without a sense of being connected to other people that comes from both of those things, you're, you're not going to enjoy any of the stuff you create. It's very simple. At the core of all of it is a sense of bliss and peace that is with you all the time. Then when you create the car that you want and the relationship that you want and you create vacations that you go on and a wonderful house to live in, you float around all these things <laughs> loving it all instead of creating your dream car getting it driving it once and going oh what's next that's the point of all the self-love crap that's the point of the gratitude that's the point of the giving to other people if you hear anybody talking about those aspects being, you know, fluffy, woo-woo, new age, crap that you don't need, uh, beware. Beware because those people have not reached the state of enlightenment about all of this where they even realize what the point of it all is. The point of it is to be blissful and happy all the time. That's, that's the end game. That's why if you can simply adopt that state you don't have to worry about anything else. When you are in that state, everything happens effortlessly. Your relationships with other people improve without you doing anything any different. It's so crazy. I mean, you of course, you are doing things differently. You just don't, there's no effort involved. You just are different. So everything is different. It's amazing. That's why I would recommend to anybody who kind of gets what I'm saying with this, to bypass trying to create a specific thing and make your scene, Neville talks about this, make your scene, your, the thing you're trying to adopt, the state of ecstasy. That's the very, that's the pinnacle of all of it. If you can capture that, you will effortlessly create all the other things. You won't even have to try, you won't even have to think about them. You will think about them and they will come about almost instantly. It's, it's shocking. I've experienced it. I'm not somebody who's in this state all the time yet. It's the, it's the end goal. But I've spent long periods of time there, like months at a time. And the way life flows easily and you, you think, you know, I, I need a solution to this problem and it just shows up immediately. It's mind blowing. And the way to stay in it is gratitude, working on the things about yourself that are causing you pain. It's a process, but that's the place to go. If you wanna attack the cause, instead of constantly trying to manifest an effect that you think is going to change something that is coming from within you, which is unhappiness, which is negative beliefs about yourself, other people, and the world. <laughs>